Greetings, unsettled souls, and a welcome to the correct views. Sam I B. DeGangi with the Media Speaks. Um, for those of you that don't know, I am I'm getting married Saturday. Yes. Christelle and I, the behind the scenes queen. And as such, I haven't really had time to do the show with the uh, intensity that I wanted to. And Christelle had mentioned that it is, in fact, uh, well, for us, for us, it's Monday night. For the rest of the world, it's Tuesday morning. We're ready to go to bed. The news goes on. So I'm going to do it. I'm going to give you, uh, right now, I'm going to read to you the most popular article I've ever written. And it's one that matters. We know that other countries are taking uh, the lead on this. They're going after um, what they call haircuts, where they take money out of people's bank accounts to help uh, pay for the bad decision of bankers. Well, I'm going to give to you right here. You can share it far and wide. This is how to live without banks. And how do I know it works? Because I do it every day. What do I do? What I'm about to tell you. Um, since this was written, I do want to say that um, I've opened up an LLC and I'm going to be renting properties. It doesn't change what's in this. If I need to get a bank account, which I still don't have one, there's no reason that you would keep any more money in the bank than you absolutely need it to keep it open for whatever kind of business that you, forces you to have one. Listen to this. This is important. And if you don't, and I'm promising you it's going to happen, when the banks take your money because it was left there, I'm not going to feel the least bit sorry for you. This right here will prevent this from happening to you. This is how to live without banks. Um, you, you can find the whole thing on TheMediaSpeaks.com, written by me, Sam DeGangi. Anyone who is even somewhat news savvy knows what has happened in the nation's Cyprus and Poland by now. The banks have, in one way or another, managed to snake into the accounts of people to of its people to rob them. There is little doubt that this will happen in the United States before long. We see them going after uh, cash, how they want cash banned. We see it all the time, don't we? It says, thankfully for the banks, most of America are too stupid to be able to figure it out. Most of America will awaken on the day that it is done, have an absolute meltdown over what just happened without warning, and blame whatever political party that it is they happen to dislike. So what are the rest of the few thinking people to do? After all, we need banks, don't we? Actually, we can live much better with, without them, at least in terms of security. Sure, some people have jobs that in ways that are technically illegal and can be contested by a lawyer, they put the paycheck into the checking account, and there are people who get assistance from Uncle Sam who must indeed have a bank account. Okay. But what would compel a person to leave money in it? As one of the few aforementioned thinking people, we know that the banks and our government are going to steal this money if it is left in there. So why would anyone leave what money they do have in the bank? Well, here's an outline of how people can live without banks. First of all, decide if a bank is even needed. If it is not, then it would be ultra-wise to not be part of a bank at all. If one must, then find out what the absolute minimum required is to keep the account open, and then under no circumstances ever put more money than that in. This way, when Uncle Sam puts on his bandit mask, very little will be lost. Two, pay all bills with money orders. I do this all the time. Most convenience stores offer them for almost nothing. The fees from money orders are much smaller than what most people spend at ATM fees. Keep the money order stubs, for they can be traced in the event that something illegal is done. 3. Some people may be going through a divorce or perhaps owe money to some institution and that will take the money out of a bank account or an IRA or a mutual fund. And the solution here is the historically sound gold, or rather, precious metals in general. Do you owe money for student loans? Do you want the student loans taking your investments? Then listen. While they do not gain interest like the more traditional forms do, gold slash like metals, I wrote, have always gone up quite well over any 25-year period, and the best part is that the government and its many institutions cannot prove that anyone has it. Sure, one may have to open an account to buy the metal, but one can also buy a receipt book and make the receipt out for anything that they want, for any amount that they want, and then poof, the metal is gone legally 
isn't it? Um, again, you can also go to private dealers and you'll be able to do this quite easily. And always, you know, be armed with what spot prices are. It says that leaves the owner with the task of finding a safe, non-bank place to hide it. If one cannot find a place in the world that is not their own homes, because that's too easy to break into, to hide coins, then said person is not one of the aforementioned thinking people. And um, think about it. I mean, if, what is an ounce of gold right now? <clears throat> uh, about $1,500? $1,200? Whatever. I guess it depends on what, what the uh, stamping is. 30 of those would be a rather substantial investment. You mean to tell me you can't find a place to hide 30 coins in the entire world? Four, debit cards are golden for those of us that don't want to use a credit card without ha want to use a credit card without having a bank account. Five, and this is imperative that you listen to this because as a musician, I have done this repeatedly. What about eBay and such? There is a secret here that this author, that would be me, has found that gets around the credit card eBay issue. One, find what you wish to buy. Usually, if it has a buy it now option, then it is a store. And many stores use eBay as a way to sell products. But they are, in fact, still a store. Two, eBay and most auction sites have a contact the seller option. Use this option to contact the seller that is a perfectly legal option, and say, hello, Mr. Mrs. Seller. I have no credit card. May I send you a money order for the product? Three, in every single instance that I have ever done this with my band, which has been many, there has not only worked, but it has worked perfectly. With this in mind, I wrote, why would anyone ever use banks? Supporting banks hurts the whole world because the banks are causing great destruction to the entire planet. They set up central banks, they kill the currency, and they reap the rewards. Banks have stolen fun funds from their own people's accounts in nations that may not be the USA, but from banks that have branches in the USA. And I have links to prove all of this in the article. What has been done to other nations will likely happen here in the United States. The thinking people who are prudent and heed this advice will be doing far and away better than those that do not. You have been warned. Friends, that's how to live without banks. That's today's The Correct Views. Uh, do me a favor. Share this far and wide. Let everybody know about it. Um, go to the uh, mediaspeaks.com. Let uh, Kyle Court D. Lake uh, know that you're reading their articles, you're sharing their information. Go to StickerJunkie.com. See these? These are my band stickers made by Sticker Junkie. And, uh, of course, support Mike McLaughlin, one of the best writers extant today, friends. Uh, I'll probably be back with you again uh, Wednesday night. Uh, you guys would call Thursday morning. Good night, everyone. God bless.